Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I'm sure most of you are experiencing the same frustration that I am in terms of what's going on with ammo. And there are many people out there that are, are looking for ammo, everybody from new shooters to people who have been shooting for years. The market, not just ammo, but across the board has really suffered. You look at the training market, you look at all the people who got their CCW permits for the states that required that. You look at the hunters who have like nothing available. Everything from 22 to rifle is hard to come by. It's been frustrating and it has sometimes brought out the worst in many people. I hear several times when I do a shooting video, oh, it must be nice to have the ammo. It must be nice. Well, I can go back to many of my videos and I've encouraged people for years to get it while it's available. Get it while it is on your shelves. Get it while it is priced well. And so now people are saying, well, you know, thanks a lot. Now there's not enough for the rest of us. That's called preparation. Like we knew this was going to happen eventually, but there are some reasons that make this ammo shortage a little unique. First off, there are over 7 million new gun owners out there. Every single one of them wants ammo and they don't have a baseline for what they're willing to pay. So if it's outrageously priced, like what Cheaper Than Dirt is offering, then they're going to get it. And there are many other people who are overpaying and that's where we're at right now because the market is suffering, especially the retailers. You look at many of these gun stores or, or big box stores or you know local mom and pop shops. They sold so much ammo before and now they can't get their hands on it. They're, they're not doing well financially. And so why is this happening? Well, you've got new gun owners left and right. I can testify to this because I was at my local gun store. I went there to get a simple part for an AR and the line was out the door. Every men, women, older folks, younger people, you name it, all races. Like they were there. They were lined up. I couldn't even stay there because I didn't have the time to wait in line and everybody six feet apart in line and it just it was a disaster. I walked out not getting what I needed. I then went to another gun store and there weren't as many people there and that's because their shelves were empty. So you've got people buying guns left and right and you say, what causes that? Well, it started, it started a while back actually, but then it was the start of the nationwide shutdowns. Remember that? People said, well, there are gonna be uh, riots, there are gonna be people breaking and entering. And we didn't quite see that to the degree that was expected, but we did see a surge in gun ownerships. You put the, uh, the pandemic and then you take on top of that, the riots that took place, there were so many people everywhere from the urban areas to the country settings. And in between, people were buying guns and ammo. So right there, you have a shortage. Then you put the election, all right, you look at that and now people are saying, well, they're gonna be taxed anyways, or it's gonna be hard to get. And it is hard to get. So, you, you know, we get to that point where we hear so often, you better get it now, get it while you can. And that is in place now, it's always been there. So we're seeing some consistent things happening in the ammo industry that is consistent, but even to a higher degree, it's worse because of the new gun owners. Now the manufacturers, are hearing all types of things. I'm hearing all types of things. I'm being called names as a hoarder and a stockpiler and everything. And once again, that's preparation. But to suggest that the manufacturers are stockpiling to raise demand. Well, any person in business knows that if you have demand, you want to strike when the iron is hot. Like that is the time because you, you already have your product sold the minute they walk out the door. So that is a good thing. Why would you hold on to that? The demand's already there, big time. Another thing is that they're stockpiling for the military. Well, I'm sure they're stockpiling for the military. I, that's not a bad thing, 
but the consumer market is just begging for ammo like more let me get more i need to get more i'm willing to pay more and and that's where we're at with that and then you look at what happened in the last four years they called it the trump slump you had gun manufacturers so many firearm manufacturers they started trimming off their workforce one after another they started laying off i saw this firsthand with some of the the companies i'm familiar with they started laying off and they had to cut down their labor force because they just weren't selling guns the trump slump was when people weren't worried about guns and ammo they said you know they're going to be there I'm, I'm fine with that and they didn't necessarily run out and get guns to the degree that they are now so you saw the trump slump where not many people were buying to all of a sudden this massive surge of buyers out there and it is really massive you add to that on top of the buyer surge the the riots the uh, shutdowns now you're looking at companies not just ammo manufacturers but firearm manufacturers now they're starting to hire people back now when you hire people back you don't just take them off the streets and put them on the line and start making ammo you have to train these people and so you saw that you saw a, a surge in hunters all right who are frustrated they can't get their ammo you're looking at shotgun you're looking at rifle rounds you see a surge in people for self-protection and all of that is happening this is like the perfect storm and it's creating the ammo shortage now don't take my word for it I just watched a video that was published a couple days ago from the president of federal ammunition cci spear now remington he put it out there and i'm going to put a link to that into the uh, description and i'm going to pin the comments so that you can see firsthand what's going on they are cranking out ammo as fast as they can but for so many years people weren't going after the ammo they said it's going to be there it's going to be there we got upset when walmart stopped selling uh, handgun rounds all right We're, we we said or rifle rounds many of the uh, AR uh, 556 we, we got upset about that but we didn't do anything about it there were many people we didn't go out and go get more that we needed we didn't go out and prepare properly now there are some people that say yeah I've, I've got 9,000 rounds I don't say you're stockpiling and hoarding I'm saying that you're prepa prepared well because you saw this coming we saw the same thing in 2012 13 14 and the same conspiracies were happen happening back then you know when Obama got in there people were buying guns well what does that mean they need ammo what does that mean there's a higher demand what does that mean the price increases and here we are and so will it eventually get back to normal well it's possible a lot of that is going to depend on if there are additional taxes put on ammo and i i really foresee that happening i i see the national uh, federal government going after the ammo oh they're going to go after guns they're going to go after the ammo because they they know you know that's the very food that gun owners need to sustain our lifestyle and are they going to do it absolutely a hundred percent so we look at all these things that are taking place and it is a disaster the ammo industry it, the consumer industry I should say the consumer side of it is a disaster because you have people who are overpaying big time you have retailers who can't get their product who are losing money you have manufacturers who are trying to crank it out as quick as they can but they don't have the labor force as they are training them and getting them prepared to create as much ammo and you got people really upset because it's not available at their local stores i would say be patient i would say uh, keep an eye out you know i gave advice on this channel of my strategy that has worked pretty darn well i have to say and many people said well that'll never work well they never even tried it so i would say be creative and be careful too don't overpay stay away from companies like cheaper than dirt because there are 
other companies out there taking huge advantage of the situation and there are others that are not you know you look at these online companies they're not getting the profits they used to get they have no choice but to raise the prices a little bit to make up for the shortage so it's it's the perfect storm it does require patience it also requires us to understand that this if we ever get out of this this will happen again i guarantee 100 percent it will happen again it's a cycle that takes place and a lot of it is politics a lot of it is new gun owners and a lot of it is our, our they are people that are hoarding and reselling that doesn't help much so that's my spiel that is the truth about what is happening in the ammo world it's not pretty it's not fun it creates us to be a little more creative as, as to how we use our ammo but i do think the manufacturers the ammo manufacturers are doing everything they can in their power to meet the huge demand that is out there and here we are all along saying we welcome new gun owners but we don't like what you're doing to the ammo industry and that would be a legitimate complaint if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe.